Thank you, members of the board. Um, as you know, the MSU administration has frozen the assets of ASMSU and is threatening to not collect the student-supported tax that funds ASMSU. We are shocked that the situation has escalated to this level. We take this matter and our relationship with the university seriously and have sought professional guidance from our accountants and independent legal counsel. Although administration officials have assured us numerous times to the contrary, their actions can only lead to the conclusion that MSU administration wants a captive student government. The administration has taken deliberate action to undermine the ability of ASMSU to function as an independent voice and advocate for undergraduate students at MSU. In five decades of ASMSU's existence, never has a president tried to freeze general revenue funds for the student government. Not only has this university's administration um, done this twice and taken such direction action action um, since Dr. Simon's term began, so what has changed? McPherson, Geyer, DiBiagio, Mackey, Hardin, Warden, Adams, and Hannah were all able to work with ASMSU without threatening its existence. At issue is the proper direction of student funds to their intended recipients. Through a democratic process, MSU students continually vote to fund their student government. Unilaterally freezing those funds is a violation of the trust that students place in their university each time they pay the tuition bill. ASMSU has always been an advocate for students. Sometimes this puts us in a position contrary to that of the administration. By threatening to withhold our student-supported funding at each and every disagreement, we fear that the days of an independent student voice are numbered. Like the Board of Trustees, ASMSU takes very seriously proper stewardship over student funds. We understand the responsibility that comes with student tax monies and are proud of the fact that in 50 years, there has never been an incident of embezzlement or misuse of funds at ASMSU. If anybody has suspicions or evidence of such impropriety, we welcome the evidence to be provided. We agree with the administration that ASMSU needs to adhere to strong fiscal management policies. That being said, only an autonomous, student-run government can truly represent the student body. Since 2009, ASMSU has continually met the objectives <coughs> dictated by the administration. Each time we would acquiesce, the goalposts would then move further away. We have met them more than halfway, and considering how far we have come in the past three years, we feel that it is time to put this tumultuous period behind us. We feel that our position is reasonable and negotiable. We are looking forward to engaging in honest dialogue with university officials relative to our concerns about the future of ASMSU. As always, we welcome any member of the MSU community to engage us on this important matter. Thank you for your time. And with that, I yield.